Here in New York, um, the women who are coming to see us to freeze eggs oftentimes are well above their mid-30s. Um, so we're seeing women 35, 36, 38, 40. I've even had people in their mid-40s coming asking to freeze eggs. Um, it's possible to attempt to freeze eggs in a 45 or 46 year old, but the chance of those eggs ever becoming a baby is vanishingly small. Um, there's so many obstacles and benchmarks to get through that it's uh, very difficult. Um, on the other hand, uh, the current marketing of um, egg freezing to very young women um, it's likely that most of those people are never going to use those eggs. They'll probably get pregnant on their own well before they use those eggs. Um, so there's a, we as a, as a society, as a culture, um, have to think about how much resources you want to spend on freezing eggs in young people um, when most of them will never be used, um, as opposed to waiting too late to your 40s uh, when most of them can't be used. Um, so it comes down to probably uh, in terms of making a decision about whether you want to freeze your eggs or not. Um, if you're a professional person, you're single, um, you're 35, 36 years old, you currently aren't planning on being pregnant now, your job is too intense, you can't uh, take that time aside. Um, you're still in the ballpark where you have pretty good chances of being successful if you were to freeze your eggs. Um, you're far enough along that, um, you know, it could be two, three, four years uh, before you get around to being ready to be pregnant. Um, and waiting those two, three, four years would significantly reduce your personal uh, fertility. Um, because fertility stays pretty constant until you're about 35, 36 years old, and then it falls pretty rapidly, um, losing about half of your fertility before you reach the age of 40, and the rest uh, before you reach the age of 44. Um, so uh, where it gets down to a real low level where we can sometimes work and work and work and achieve things for some people, but for most people, it's a disappointing experience. So I would say um, if you're 35, 36, um, uh, not planning to have children for another five years, you should give some serious consideration to planning what you want to do about your eggs.